Hey guys, I'm Josh and in today's video we're going to be talking about computer science and community college. Doing a little bit of a new style of a video, kind of just talking to the camera more vlog-like. So let me know what you guys think and if you want more videos where we just talk about a topic, uh, let me know in the comments. So I'll be having a couple talking points where I'll be going over. I'll throw a little card over here over here, just so if you guys see a topic that you want to hear, you can always just scrub to it. But if you want to see the whole thing, just stay tuned. And if you guys are new to my channel, if you guys can hit the like button before the video even starts, it does help a small channel like mine grow. So a little background about me is I just got my Associates of Applied Science in Software Development at a community college just um, in 2019, winter semester. So I'm pretty new to that. And then I just transferred over to a university. So I've done the whole community college and I have one semester at a university. So today I'll be just talking about community college and what it's like over there. And this is going to be for mainly either high schoolers who are thinking of going into college and they don't know which route they want to take just yet, as well as other people who maybe want to go into college or they just want to learn more about community college and software development in general. So I guess the first point that I'll be talking about is why community college? For a lot of students, it's more of the financial reason versus going to a four-year. So all in all, for my two years and getting the degree, I think it was about 13000 And I went to a school in Minneapolis, so it isn't like just some rundown town, I guess you could say. It's a pretty big populated city. And I was able to do my whole degree for right around 13000 And with that said, now that I'm at my university, one semester over there costs as much as my entire two-year degree at a community college. So if cost is something that you are figuring into it, you can always do kind of what I did where I transferred over and that saved a lot of money. And I have an associate degree added to my belt. And if you were to do computer science or like software development related major at a community college, you'd most likely be getting an associate degree or you could do like maybe a one year and then get a certificate. And that's something that you'll be seeing a lot and how that differs from a university is that you'll be seeing a lot of students who are just out of high school, which like I was, which was me when I first started. But you'll also see some people who are going back to school, I guess, to expand their career or switch careers. So your classes are going to be mixed with people who are just straight out of high school as well as like, let's say, 30, 40, 50 year olds who are also learning about, let's say, computer science, software development, or something in IT. Really different for me from going to high school, let's say, where everybody is like the same age, you know, and then going into a college or community college where all the classes kind of Differed. And I would relate community college software development as a kind of boot camp in itself, just where you're kind of focusing mainly on how to code versus the theory behind it, which I think computer science at different at a university level, doing a lot more math and you're figuring out algorithms and data structures and how they work and how to implement them into code. Whereas with community college, you're learning how to code. It's basically just those skills that you would learn at a boot camp, but just thrown in with hands-on learning how to code. And just a quick pause while you're watching this, comment down below on what you're doing at the moment. Are you thinking of community college? Are you in high school currently? Are you at a four-year? Let me know and I'll be harding and replying to all of those comments. And now for class structure. So my experience, it was a mixture of hands-on learning, a lot of that, a lot of programming and how to code as well as throwing in some generals because if you're going for an associate's degree or even a certificate you're gonna have to do a little bit of english math that kind of stuff and in my experience we had a lot of labs so we started off learning python our freshman year and that kind of taught us the basics of how to code and just get everybody on a level playing field and then after that we could choose like two electives so we could go into we could choose two programming languages pretty much so we could choose like java c sharp more Python, some web development stuff. So like JavaScript and Node.js and that kind of stuff. And then you can go into mobile development. So Android development with Java, as well as some iOS stuff. So your core class is kind of composed of a mixture of generals as well as coding classes. And then for our senior year, we kind of combined everything together that we've learned in Python. And then we pretty much coded and then we would work in groups creating web applications as well as writing good test cases. So if you're wondering on what kind of stuff you'd be learning really, it's basically 
how to code in a certain language that you choose. And as for options after completing your associates or finishing up with community college, you can always transfer to university or a ton of my classmates from my graduating class actually found jobs in IT or software development kind of based on what they wanted to do. And these aren't like smaller companies as well, they're like bigger corporations here in Minnesota. You have Target for instance, and a couple people actually got jobs being software engineers over there. Well, I think the pay may not be as good as if you have a four-year degree. I don't think that that really matters for the moment because if you just stay at a company for maybe one to two years, you can kind of get into that junior level and then transfer over because those years that you're over there kind of experience and they kind of want that more rather than just a degree especially in like the tech field as what I've been noticing um, and while you're in school you can always just do internships as well that kind of builds up your portfolio so for options I mean you're not really limited in not going to university I don't think that really matters all that much um, based off of what I've seen so far but to wrap up the video hopefully this gave you a better understanding of what software development or computer science is at, at a community college if you guys have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll respond to them with either a comment or maybe I'll make a part two to this video if we have a lot of questions. I'll be hearting and replying to every single comment. And if you guys enjoyed, please like the video, comment down below again, and remember to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.